Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come one, come all to the greatest, okayest show in my garage. Today is going to be pretty quick, pretty easy, a little dirty, but we got a new part for the Street Glide. Let's all be shocked, stunned, and amazed. Yes, more parts for the Street Glide, but I have good news. This, the fat boy right over there in the distance is finally getting some love. Got some parts ordered, just waiting on everything to show up. It's going to be big, but you're not going to know what it is yet. But today, I've got a part that showed up on Friday, a couple of days early, from a guy out in Michigan. He's got a small CNC shop over there. Some of you might already know who I'm talking about. It's from Boss Fab, and he does custom shift linkages, uh, tank badges, a variety of other things. And I gotta say, the quality is top notch. Uh, it took probably two and a half, three weeks from date of order to the date I received it. So we're gonna get cracking, we're gonna get this installed. The bike's dirty, kinda got caught out in the rain last night on a ride, but I think you guys will forgive me because again, a dirty bike's a ridden bike, I've said it before. So let's get at it. See if I can't do this one-handed. And the package is the wrong way. All right, here it comes. Big reveal moment. ta -da. Yes, yes, it says Moose Knuckle. So freaking cool. So, yeah, what I appreciate about it, it's all solid aluminum, came with the eyes already attached on both ends, so all we gotta do, pop the old one off, pop the new one on, and we're done. We're gonna be using a half inch socket and a 7 16 combination wrench. Should be able to get everything popped off. So here's where we're gonna be at. It's this. This right here is the Harley shift linkage. So we got the half inch nut here. Get my fingers out of the way. And we got a little combo wrench that's gonna go here if that's coming through. Should just be able to loosen those up. That'll pop off. We'll bring it over to the workbench here. We're gonna lay it out next to the new linkage make any uh, adjustments, kind of dial in our length just right. And then we should be able to pop it on, reattach the hardware that it came with. Let's get this over here in the light. Came with hardware, if you can see that. And stickers! It came with stickers. I'm actually really excited about that because I've got a bit of a collection going on, but because I'm retentive, all of my stickers get stuck to one of those sheet magnets, you know? Oh, let's get that out of the way. No flexible sheet magnets. And then the magnets gets trimmed out. And it goes up here on the ducting. So no more sticking it to your toolbox. No more sticking it to the wall and kicking yourself when you move out. Because now I'd pop those down and take them with me. I thought it was a pretty good idea, if I do say so myself. Don't have them often, but I like that one. So give me a quick sec. We'll get that linkage popped off. We'll get it on the table. I'll show you where we're at. And we'll go from there. Hold on. Okay, so that took all of, uh, I don't know, 47 seconds, but it's off. And all I did was I laid it out, made sure that I was at 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here, and it actually looks like everything lines up perfect right out of the box. I'm shocked, but very happy about that because it means that the guy out there at Boss Fab, and his name escapes me at the moment because I suck at names, he knows what he's doing, and I am beyond ecstatic, elated, whatever adjectives you want to use. And one of the biggest things I can appreciate about this is I got a lot of Amazon parts on there. It is what it is. I got a fixed budget, although that apparently has gone out the window over the winter and now the spring. But because he is based out of, whoa, based out of Michigan, one thing that means, means a lot to me, that sticker right there. If I have the option to buy American, I absolutely will. And if I have the option to buy from a small shop, be them local or, or across the country, that's also my preference. So let's support, support the small guy, throw a little more money at them, a little bit less money at Amazon. I'm guilty of it myself. But all of these big chain conglomerates, they got all the money they could use. It's these little guys that need our help, want our help, deserve our help. So, uh, so I've ordered stuff out of a guy from a guy out in Pennsylvania. That's where I got my uh, rear shocks. Uh, 
Uh, I've ordered stuff from Saddleman. I got, I've ordered a couple of things from Saddleman, Advan Black. Yeah, Advan Black, I mean, I know they're, they're kind of based here. Some of their stuff comes from overseas. But when I need to talk to a guy, I'm talking to a guy down in California. I can appreciate that. So we're going to go ahead and take this here. We're going to line it up. Let's take a walk. Yes, my chair. I'm fat and I like to have a chair. And we're going to pop it in right here. Also, fun fact. That acorn nut is a half inch, but I recommend a deep socket. It would have made that a touch easier, save about three and a half seconds. So I'm probably going to make the swap. So friendly DIY. So, all right. I'm going to get that popped on there real quick. Hopefully be about another 47-ish seconds. Because if anybody knows what 47 seconds is like, <laughs> it's me. I'll be right back. All right, she's done. Let's go take a look. Took a little more than 47 seconds. Had to get some different tools. Uh, because the guy's name's Mike. He sends the new hardware with uh, hex head bolts. And they're a quarter inch. I just didn't have any hex heads out, so I had to go and find them. And one of the old school little L-shaped Allen keys. Need to dig up one of those. I haven't used them forever. Cause it's kind of a tight squeeze between that front part of the linkage and that front jug. Uh, I hate it when jugs are too big to get in the way. So anyway, let's take a look. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Now there is a little bit of wiggle here. That's because of those uh, little roller bearings in there. Just kind of make sure everything is uh, shifting freely without hiccup. You know, nothing kind of hits my horn a little bit. That's not his fault. That's, that's mine. But, you know, clears the primary. No worries. If the horn becomes an issue, you know, I'll swap that out. That's just one of those Amazon buys I was telling people not to do. But, uh, you know, do as I say, not as I do. But... It's on there, and I and I may go with a different horn. I kind of an eyeballing that uh, Pro Beast that uh, Custom Dynamics has. Just, I don't like. It doesn't look as good to me as what that does. But sometimes function needs to perform over fashion. So, but in the little baggie with the hardware, it's a couple of business cards. There's a guy's name, Mike Porzondek. Mikey, if you're watching this, man, I'm sorry. I. I did not mean to butcher your name if I did, but a couple of stickers here, which are definitely going up on the HVAC and even includes directions. Size of a credit card is really simple. Now, I don't have a relationship with them. I don't have a relationship with anybody except for my wife, much to her dismay. But on the back of the, that card with the instructions, it does have a discount code. Uh, and it's take five. T-A-K-E, the number five. All one word, no spaces. You know, if you leave something in your cart long enough, he'll email you and say, hey, you know, use this take five code. You know, it's like 5% off. So, or use that code now and you get 5% off. I get no kickbacks. I just figured I would put that out there to anybody who's interested in a custom shift linkage. Uh, you can find them on Facebook. It's boss-fab, that's B O S S dash f a b boss fab um and he's got you basically he's got several different fonts you choose from it's all set up for the i think and don't quote me on this the 14 and ups 14 and up harleys or at least the big twins it probably i think it does them for indians too but uh, you type in what you want it to say you choose a font and he's got probably a dozen fonts eight to twelve fonts that you can choose from he'll send you a rendering typically in a couple of days and if you like it you say yes and he gets to doing his thing like i said it took about two and a half or three weeks from date of order to date of receipt and for a one-off you really can't complain about that so uh super excited thanks mike it looks great not that you're going to see this but I love it. As for the fat boy, I'm not gonna give away what I'm doing here, but hopefully within the next, I don't know, two weeks, there's gonna be some changes made. Now, did have to tip the bars up a little bit because the previous owner tipped them down. I couldn't for the life of me figure out why 
it was uncomfortable and it dawned on me. So tip the bars up a couple of inches. We'll give it a whirl, see how it works. So still loving the bars on here. They're doing great. That ceramic coat has proven its weight in gold because I've been caught in the rain. Every time I've taken the bike out since doing the ceramic coat and the dirt, the bugs, everything just, just washes off. It's amazing. You know, I, I was cussing myself for, for deciding to do it, but golly, it was, it was worth it. So, and now I'm trying to convince any of my buddies, my, my brother, anybody who's got a bike, is bring a six pack, a 12 pack, and let's, let's ceramic coat your bike. To anybody and everybody I know that has a bike, I'm trying to get them to do it. So, uh, already putting stuff together for Sturgis this year. There's a couple of items there. It's just an air mattress and then the pump for it. Um, here in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to start kind of taking all the Sturgis stuff and putting it together. If you guys are interested, I'll you know, do a video on what it is I'm taking. I got a bit of a convenience because I'm going to have a chase car, so the bike's not going to be loaded down near as much as it was last year. So, I don't know. We'll see. You know, uh, it's, with those new bars, I don't really get to use, I don't think I'll get to use the tea bag as a backrest this year. So, that's all I've got. You know, boss fab for the win. I, you know, we'll get out on a ride and see how it holds up, but I got no, no doubts in my mind. This thing is going to be great. So, uh, if you would, just, uh, Hit the button, do the stuff. I appreciate it. Uh, the videos are finally going live. I'm dropping about once a week, typically on Sundays, I believe. So, which you all should know this by the time this video comes out, because I've been recording since February and first and two weeks ago, I dropped the first video. We are now at the end of May, which is why the garage is open and the hoodie's gone, the heater's off. <sighs> so ready for spring, so ready for summer beyond ready for Sturgis. It's going to be an absolute riot taking the street glide again. And with the new bars, the new seat, I'm really thinking it's going to be a much better ride because my ass was killing me by the time I got there because that stock seat, as everybody knows, blows so hard. So anyway, uh, that's all I've got. I'll check back next week. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Uh, as soon as Facebook will let me, I'll put links in to the various things that I'm doing. But other than that, catch y'all next time.